Good morning, guys. I'm running with my head chopped off again. Running around my head chopped off. Trying to get stuff done. Seems like I gotta move quick to get some stuff done, or it doesn't get done. Okay, I'm starting to mud the ceiling. Oh, you didn't see it. That's right, the whole ceiling's done. Look. I didn't show you the results. Sorry about that, guys. Put a, uh, a standard uh, attic door, and then we just, I'm mudding it now. That's what I'm doing. Oh, man, I'm tired. Oh, this is, look at what else we did. We took, we have about six sheets of sheetrock left over, and put the sheetrock in over the insulation. So it's solid. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that look cool? Okay, you guys are just hanging by a thread there on the garage door. Using a piece of plywood for the mud. But it's working. I guess you just go like this. Can you see that, guys? Like this. I mean, I'm not good at this, but I'm trying. I don't give up. I don't give in and I don't give up. I did a little bit with my dad back in the day. But not much, not much at all. These mud guys are probably laughing at me right now like, Ross, that's not how you do it. Ross, that's not how you do it. But you know what? I don't have it, someone here helping me. Besides Jeremy that helped me put the sheetrock up. So I gotta do this myself. I'm kinda on my own. So I'm gonna try to do it like this. Wow, look at all the mud that came off that. I know you got to get most of the mud off the first thing of tape when you tape it. That's all there is to it, I guess. Fred told me to talk on the camera. Well, Trekkie's on a hill, so we had to shim him up. He's a bit shimmed up today. Time to get on Trekkie. And what's Fred doing over here? What are you doing over here? You look like you're mudding. Mudding. Mudding? You're like, not dirty. It's like basting a cake. Basting? Fred, I mudded half the garage. What do you think? Mmm, I think he did a good job. Uh, what are we feeding me? What are we, what are we this feeding This is mine. Me? Oh, what's that? That's yours. Oh, what is that? And underneath it. Really? Cheesy rice, too. Cheesy rice? Oh, no, that's cholesterol, Fred. I can't have that. Well, I guess we can throw it away, then. Throw it away. You don't want to eat Yeah, it. but I don't want to have a heart attack. What are you going to do if I have a heart attack? What's going to go on there? You really don't eat stuff that's going to make you have a heart attack. What is that? You don't eat that all the time. I was just giving you something to... Have a heart attack. It took me like 15 minutes to get this thing started. I think it needs a new carburetor or something. He says he just rebuilt it, but you know how they say that. and They don't do it. don't see how that work you got to go back and forth to get the camera it looks like if I were to just stop this shot and drove away and started this shot talking with Heather or something in another shot you wouldn't have seen me go back to the camera so I like to show that once in a while okay let me put the camera away so it doesn't get wrecked okay guys about 30 minutes all done Did about that's about an acre right there a little less than an acre I just mowed it wasn't really tall it was just like weeds and stuff you know it's not really grass it's kind of like just weeds I want to check the mail. Good morning, Googie. What are you doing, Googie? Doodle. Guess what we got, guys? We have the siding. We got siding. Let's see what color we got. Ready? Whoa. I don't know what color that is. It's like a tan. It's like a tan gray. It's kind of cool. Clay. It's called the clay. It's called the clay color. We got a bunch of uh, siding. And that's going to go right up there tomorrow. That side and the other side. Fred, what are you doing? Cleaning the Porsche? I wish it was a Porsche. You did? I don't really like Porsches, so I wish it was a... You'd be a city slicker if it's a Porsche. I wish it was a... You want to be a city slicker? I wish it was a Lincoln Navigator. You are a city slicker. You actually, by the way, have fingerprints all over that, and you're the one that yells at me for fingerprints. So you best check that for fingerprints before you turn it on. I don't fingerprints. I don't know what you're talking about, finger. Well, anyways, this is what I'm doing over here, guys. I got my saw horses that I cut through. <laughs> with this, I cut room with the saw. I was pissed. Anyways, I'm 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 cutting some more sheetrock, and I'll show you where it's going. 
All clean inside. Now it's time to clean the outside. Oh, it's going to be a big mess. Hey, kindly tell me where I could find the scrubber reverse. I cut it two sixteenths in, and it's still. Could good. you kindly tell me where I could find the scrubber reverse? What are you washing the car? Yeah. Under the dash. I found the scrubber reverse, but things are. They're very hard to do when you only have one hand that can lift any kind of weight. So, or hold anything for that matter. Like, see, I, I can't even shut the damn door. Orthopedist to tell me whether or not my insurance has approved the MRI yet. It's been, oh, let's see. It's been almost five months since I hurt myself. Yeah. Gotta love that insurance company when you pay them five, almost $500 a month. So I'm on my second sheet and uh, I'm just gonna liquid nail this in there. Our whole pad, our whole island in our house was all liquid nailed and it held, held for years. So there's no sense in screwing this there because it's just hard to cut these things out the right size. I did this one. I'm gonna put some sealing around, sealant around it. Yeah, for this one. Liquid nails, baby, liquid nails. I made it look easy, but the cut was kind of a pain. And then when I put the sealant around it, it's like, everybody says, oh, sheetrock doesn't have bar value, but it does. Because this sheetrock, it's still 68 degrees in here, and it's almost 80 outside, so it does have bar value. Because I didn't insulate up there yet. And that's wide open. So, this sheetrock over that other insulation is going to make a big difference. And I just had scrap stuff laying around, so if I have scrap stuff laying around, I'm going to use it to make it look like that window. Isn't that cool? One inch insulation behind that, Jack. Ooh, Freddy did a good job. Waxing the old Hondi. You got the Hondi going. <laughs> hey, I'm, don't wax it too much because I'm going to paint it camo and, and put a push bar and, and top bar. Uh, well, is that after you buy me a light? And they, uh, light? You can't even talk. You don't want, is, is that, that after you buy me a Lincoln Navigator? I want a Lincoln Navigator so I can blow gas. Is that is is that after you buy me a Navigator? I want a Lincoln Navigator so I can blow some fuel. You're not touching this car. Why are you waxing the glass? So it runs off. Okay, guys, got it all in. So now I'm gonna put some uh, sealant around it, and I'm gonna do that right now. And that's that. Now you can see some of the white caulking, but who cares? We're gonna paint it anyways. You know, you got pressure treated with regular and all everything stuffed in there, so we're gonna paint it, but. At least it's all sealed up. That's a big piece right there too I put in. After probably a good two years, Bessie has finally had a bath inside and out. Uh, we've cleaned her like on the outside and on the inside, but not together all at once. So I did that today and I waxed the whole outside by hand, uh, mostly by this hand. <laughs> I did use my other hand, but um, it's done, it's clean, and she smells so much better now. What'd you make me, Frederick? Rice and meat and uh, Alfredo and... What the heck? We got a bunch of e-beggars down there. You're an e-beggar. You're on the internet. That makes you an e-beggar. You're begging for food on the internet. They just ate. Joe, I got you on camera here. I just... What did you just tell me? There's a what coming over here? Tropical storm. There's a tropical storm a coming digital. here? potential tropical storm. Could it be a hurricane? It could be. It's because the National Weather Service has given it an above average chance of rapid intensification. As, and if you've followed every single hurricane that's happened this year so far, um, they've turned it to hyperstorm. So, you know, this this one gets in the Gulf. They, they said it could very well be another one, so. Oh, well, that's good news. Anyway. You know, anybody in Anybody in the pan that runs from the Florida Panhandle down, maybe as far south, probably around Gainesville, um, all the way around to Louisiana, probably mm -hmm. needs to be probably getting ready now because this thing's going to uh, uh, move really quick and there's not going to be much time to uh, prepare for it. Well, that's good that we're getting a, a sighting up tomorrow. I'm having a guy do yeah. it. I can't do it. It's too high. But that's good. I cut all the sheetrock here. Well, thanks for, the, thanks for the update, Joe. Appreciate it. No problem. Oh, no. I guess Joe was right. Look at that. We're right there. Uh-oh. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll tape some of the 
siding going up on the sides and the eaves, and you have a good one. Please like and share this video. Thanks. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.